There are a surprising number of experiments and studies on animal behavior, some of which are considered cruelty. One of the most famous experiments on animal behavior is the conditioned reflex experiment conducted by Ivan Pavlov, also known as the classic conditioning. This experiment showed that through different stimuli, we can manipulate animals or even people's behavior or emotions. Today, we're going to take a look at this shocking experiment, the experiment of Pavlov dogs. Ivan Pavlov was a Russian psychiatrist who was highly fascinated by the human behavior, especially those actions that we perform spontaneously with no apparent explanation or reason. Could it be possible to program a person to react differently using only a sound or a word? Pavlov's experiment consisted of the following. He used the dog to measure its behavior and reactions to different stimuli. He opened a small hole in its abdominal area, as well as in the area of the saliva secretion in order to measure how much saliva or gastric juices were produced by the dog during mealtime. It is because of these procedures that the experiment is considered cruelty to animals, even though it contributed much to the study of human behavior. The second step would be to feed the dog. He would give it food every day continuously, but he would add a stimulus. He would ring a bell every time he fed it. The dog began to unconsciously associate the sound of the bell with feeding time, and its body would react every time Pavlov rang the bell. The dog would begin to overproduce saliva and gastric juices. And, in the last phase of the experiment, he severed the connection between the dog's nervous system and its gastric system. This was done in order to demonstrate that what caused the secretions of stomach juices was something psychological. This is how it was shown that an animal can be programmed. The sound of the bell itself had no connection to the food, but the brain of the animal had created a connection between the two at an unconscious level. Later, this method was applied to humans in the experiment of the baby Albert. The baby Albert wasn't afraid of any animal, but he was afraid of loud noises. So the psychiatrist would make loud sounds while showing animals to the child. This eventually caused the child to fear animals without the need of a loud sound. It was possible to turn the child's fear of loud noises into an animal phobia. Clearly these experiments are considered unethical and cruel by today's standards, but nevertheless, they taught us a lot about the human behavior. This proved that with continuous external stimuli, it can provoke a change in emotions, phobias, or even opinions in people that are different from what they've originally felt or believed. For example, if every time you watch the news and all you see are unpleasant news stories, the mere sound of the introduction music can provoke feelings of displeasure. The same could be said about a cell phone jingle, but with an opposite effect. You associate the theme with the joy of talking with a loved one or a partner. Every time you hear that jingle, even if it's not coming from your own cell phone, you will feel those positive emotions. The interesting part about all this is that you can intentionally cause this effect in people. You could provoke situations of happiness or fear when you introduce an external stimulus, such as a sound, and in the future when using that sound, you could provoke fear or happiness in a person. This is obviously used by different advertising companies and even governments. Provoking emotions in people, thus controlling their desires, their need to purchase a product because they felt good when seeing or hearing the advertisement. or even to provoke or detain any form of retaliation against the government. Most of the time, people are oblivious to the reasons of why they feel the way they feel. They have just been simply conditioned. The scary thing is that some people use this intentionally to manipulate us. It has been confirmed that through this method of conditioning, tortured prisoners of war were brainwashed in such a manner that just by hearing a word, a phrase, or a sound, could trigger destructive emotions in them, thus becoming a danger to themselves and everyone around them. These methods of conditioning have been studied and continuously tested by different world leaders. That, with a single sound, word, or image, could trigger undesirable emotions in people. 
Tell me what you think about the Pavlov experiment. Do you think it's possible to program a person to feel an emotion with external stimulus? Is it all just fake science? Or have we all become victims of this conditioning? Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.